Hi everyone! So I have a quick uh, project share for you, or a quick and quick, but um, I have been making some flowers because I uh, got some uh, flower punches. Uh, I have followed, um, oh, I hope I pronounce her name correctly. I will try to link um, um, her oh, playlist uh, in the description box. Uh, Archi, Archina, uh, she is an amazing uh, paper crafter, uh, flower maker in, in paper, and she makes these wild, wild roses and everything, and she just used uh, some punches, I think it's this one she's using, um, and this is also the one that I'm using on this one. Um, I started buying these ones uh, first, there's uh, three sizes, uh, one that's two inches, one and a half and one inch. Um, but the petals is uh, very far from each other where this one is uh, more closed here. Um, so it didn't work the tutorials with these uh, punches. It, it's, uh, it didn't give the same uh, effect so I have now uh, bought um, bigger ones or the same um, model as uh, she's using. I will be using a, a punch hole thingy. Um, she has these fancy tools um, but I'm actually just gonna use a, a children's uh, beginner knife from Ikea. Um, I'll show you how I use it. Um, then I have some papers and um, some statements. Yeah. In her tutorial she is using um, some beautiful uh, papers, just uh, cardboard papers. Uh, and she's also in, in some of the tutorials talking about what kind of quality of paper she's using and stuff. Um, I'm just using the random thing that I have so far. Uh, Nola will probably uh, notice that this one is actually from her Organi uh, paper pack that she sent to me, but I'm actually making flowers out of it. And let's see here, there's the white one and the pink one. Yes. Uh, Archna is uh, doing a lot of uh, a little bit of inking on the on the ends and uh, some um, a lot of glitter and it's amazing. But I'm using uh, um, a printed paper or paper with patterns. So yeah. Um, yes, I will just show you what you need for. A, one of in white. I'll just. We need two big ones. Uh, I'm not gonna do the biggest one, but. And then we are go using one petal in a smaller one here. Um, oh yeah, I forgot. And then we are having a green one in the back. here um, and I know she's doing a little bit different than I am um, and please go and watch her tutorial I take the smaller punch here and I'm just take this one up so you can see and I'm gonna make a lot of confetti I'm gonna Take the petals and put it here. Can you see that? Oh, I'm taking all. It's very thin paper, this one, so it's not gonna be any problem by punching out 
all three at once. And can you see I'm getting this shape? Yeah. And I'm not doing it uh, like um, measuring or anything. It's not that important. And this is going to be a big mess. Um, confetti! Yoohoo! Party! <laughs> I'm also going to do it in the smaller one. I wasn't really going to do a tutorial on these uh, flowers, um, but I was actually only going to show you uh, some of the statements that I'm making myself. Um, this is when I'm cutting off on the back here, and uh, then I have all of this left. And I just um, put them with some tape on these ones. And I have just used a $2 uh, nail polish. Um, and I think I've given them f five, four or five coats. So it didn't drip the other way. And now I have pink stamens. So it was actually because I wanted to show you a recycle. Um, project but now it's gonna be a bit of a tutorial I'm gonna place all four petals on top of each other punch a hole here this one is actually uh, when they punched um, holes and tickets on the train they don't do that anymore you probably know that and I'm gonna Pinch all of these, and it doesn't really matter if it, they are up or down. And I'm gonna, gonna cheat a little bit and punch all of them at once. So, and then each one of them I'm just gonna take on one petal I'm gonna take three strokes with this one and I'm just gonna use uh, the etching here it's very thick as you can see so I'm gonna take on the outside on the outside and in the middle and then the next one and it's very important to take the middle at la uh, as the last one because um, it won't fold correctly if you do the middle first and then the sides. It will like open up again and I don't want that. I want it to curl up. It is really thin paper so it moves a lot. Here. But it's really simple. I do put a, a good pressure on it, mostly because I don't have the right tools. So, two left. And I'm uh, like uh, taking my knife and put it from the center and out. These ones are a little more difficult when it's... And if you don't put so much pressure on it, it will fold perhaps a little bit more. I'm not sure. Mm, come on. There you go. We have this one. But it is really thin paper, this one. It is almost uh, as thin as copy paper. 
I was like, when I bought these, I was thinking, oh, the handmade papers would be awesome for flowers. Mm -hmm. But I can't punch out in an, in handmade papers because the strings of the texture in the paper is like sticking to each other in a whole other way. So it's, yeah, it's it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm taking three of these. And I'm just putting them through the first one. I don't know if I'm in frame. You can see for me it's it's curling up in a in different ways. It's not the best ones, but it works. And then I take the next one. Let's see if we can get the glue to. I still with a cold, a bad cold, I think. And I'm still searching for a job. So I want the off-centered, the petals, uh, like twisted, you know. And then I'm going around the hole here. If anything wants to go out. I love the uh, the idea of the flower. I also ordered a smaller one of these ones, the one that is uh, a bit smaller than that. So I have three sizes also in that punch. So. And then the green one here. I'm not uh, following her tutorial to the uh, correctly, but um, I kind of gave it my own twist on it. Made it a little bit more simple, I think. more open but here we go here is the flower so four petals um to get the shape here you can always just pinch them a little bit more um thicker paper of course is if you make it wet um uh, it's it will keep the shape a little bit more so yeah so here we go, and I'm just gonna glue all the way around here, let it dry, and then I'm gonna cut them, as you can see, just a little bit. You could also put some, I think it's a flower tape or something like that on the back. So yeah, or maybe cut them all the way and just put a, um, oh, one fourth of an inch uh, round punch on it or something like that so yeah that's uh, my project share these flowers i don't remember what they're called in english but here it's uh, christmas stars uh, um, if i um, translate it directly to english I, it will be called christmas stars uh, the flowers um so yeah but this was actually my tutorial, not tutorial, but when I cut the statements here, I reused them and I put some nail polish on the ends. Um, I coated them a couple of times and then they will be ready for the next uh, shabby flower, for, uh, uh, hopefully. Uh, right now I only have uh, yellow uh, statements, but... Uh, 
uh, I have ordered some white ones. I actually ordered two times, so <laughs> let's see what is coming. Um, I was thinking that white is easier. I could always put a coat of nail polish or a regular um, um, ink or use some paint. So yeah, but this is the flowers and uh, Merry Christmas to everyone and thank you for watching. Hope you will be back for my next video. It's going to be a happy mail from uh, Finally Crafting. Um, so yeah, and I hope uh, she had a uh, amazing trip uh, to Singapore where she has seen uh, YouTube uh, playing. So yeah, okay. Thank you and have a great day. Bye.